how to solve 5 power x plus 25 power x is equal to 125 power x. Find the value of x. So, we have 5 power x plus 25 power x is equal to 125 power x. Now, we divided by 125 power x in both sides. So, divided by 125 power x divided by 125 power x divided by 125 power x. Now, we see uh, this 125 power x, this 125 power x uh, will be cancelled. So, here on, here on. Now, uh, from here we see x, x same power but different base. So, remember this formula a power n over b power n is equal to a over b then bracket common power n. That means uh, n n same power but different base. So, according to this exponential rule we can write here 5 over 125 then bracket common power x plus again uh, x x same power but different base. So, according to this formula we can write here 25 over 125 then bracket common power x is equal to 1 divided by 1 that means it will be 1. Now, uh, 5 divided by 5 that means it will be 1. 125 divided by 5 that means it will be 25. Then here uh, 25 divided by 25 that means it will be 1. 125 divided by 25 that means it will be 5. So, we have 1 over 25 then bracket power of x plus 1 over 5 then bracket power of x is equal to 1. Now 1 by 25 can be written as 1 by 5 bracket power 2. 1 square is same as 1 over over 5 square is same as 25. Then uh, first bracket this first bracket can be written as second bracket then power of x plus 1 by 5 bracket power x is equal to 1. Now here we can apply this exponential rule that a power m bracket power n is equal to a power n bracket power m. So, according to this rule we can write here 1 by 5 bracket power x then second bracket second bracket power of 2 then plus 1 by 5 bracket power x is equal to 1. Now we see 1 by 5 bracket power x, 1 by 5 bracket power x both term is same. So let 1 by 5 bracket power x is substituted by y. So, our equation will be y square plus y then is equal to 1. Now, I can write here y square plus y then this plus 1 take to the left side. So, this will be minus 1 then is equal to 0. 
Now, here you can apply a uh, quadratic formula. So, you can write here y is equal to minus b plus or minus a square root of b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a. Here a will be equal to 1 then b will be equal to 1 after that c will be equal to minus 1. Now we can write here y will be equal to minus b that means on then plus or minus uh, a square root of b square that means it will be 1 square minus 4 times a that means on times uh, c that means uh, negative 1. So, it will be bracket negative 1 then divided by 2 times a that means on. Now, we can write here y is equal to minus 1 uh, plus or minus uh, square root of 1 square is same as 1 then minus times minus that means it will be plus then 4 times on times on that means it will be 4 then divided by 2 times on that means 2. Now, I can write here y is equal to minus on uh, minus on plus or minus a square root of 1 plus 4 that means it will be 5 then divided by 2. Now, we see now here are two cases. So, we can write here y is equal to minus on uh, plus a square root of 5 divided by 2 or y is equal to minus on minus a square root of 5 divided by 2. But uh, remember that y that means let 1 by 5 bracket for x is substituted by y. So, y that means it will be 1 by 5 bracket for x. So, y that means 1 by 5 bracket power x is equal to plus a square root of 5 that means a square root of 5 then minus 1 divided by 2 or y that means 1 by 5 bracket power x. So, 1 by 5 bracket power x is equal to minus 1 minus a square root of 5 divided by 2. Now, we see 1 by 5 bracket power any number is always positive, but minus 1 minus a square root of 5 divided by 2, this is must be negative. So, positive cannot be equal to negative. So, uh, this is rejected. Now, uh, from here we apply log in both sides. So, you can write here log of 1 by 5 bracket power x is equal to log of a square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 2. Now, now uh, here you can apply rule that log m power r is equal to r log m. That means, uh, this power r move to the base. So, according to this rule, 
we can compare here this power x we will move to the base so you can write here x log 1 by 5 is equal to log of square root of 5 uh, square root of 5 minus 1 over 2. Now, we need the value of x. So, we divided by log of 1 by 5 in both sides. So, divided by log of 1 by 5 divided by log of 1 by 5. Now, we see uh, this log of 1 by 5, this log of 1 by 5 will be cancelled. So, here x will be equal to, here we can apply this formula log a divided by log b is equal to log a base b. So, according to this formula, this divided by this, that means it will be log of square root of 5 minus 1 over 2, then base of 1 by 5. So, um, this is the value of x. So, this is our final. How to solve x power? x power 10 is equal to 400. Find the value of x. So, you have x power x power 10 then is equal to 400 can be written as 20 square now uh, we multiply by power of 10 in both sides so multiply by power of 10 then multiply by power of 10 now uh, here you can apply this exponential rule that a power m bracket power n is equal to a power n bracket power m. So, according to this rule, I can write here x power 10 then bracket power of x to the power 10 then is equal to 20 uh, power of 2 times 10 that means it will be 20. Uh, here we applied the, we applied this formula a power m bracket power n is equal to a power of m times n that means it will be mn. Now uh, here uh, we see x power 10 x power 10 both term is same. So let x power 10 uh, x power 10 is substituted by t so our equation will be t power t is equal to 20 power of 20 now uh, here you can apply rule that a power a is equal to n power n so a will be equal to n Oh yeah, n is greater than or equal to 1. So, um, according to this rule, you can compare here, t will be equal to 20. But remember that x power 10 is substituted by t. So, t that means it will be x power 10 is equal to 20. Now, uh, we need the value of x, so we multiply by power of 1 by 10 in both sides. So, multiply by power of 1 by 10, multiply by power of 1 by 10. Now, uh, this 10, this 10 will be cancelled. So, we have x power 1 is same as x is equal to plus or minus 20 power of 1 by 10 can be written as 
tenth root of twenty. So plus or minus tenth root of twenty. This is the value of x. So this is our final answer.